Do you want to get most of your iPhone and want to enhance your experience of using it? If yes, then watch this video till the end just because I am going to share a 30 plus iPhone tips you probably don't know. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, I will share you 30 plus iPhone tips that will definitely enhance your using experience and make sure watch till the end just because I am going to share a tips for a safari, calculator, photos, camera app, a few settings and what not. But before I share them all with you, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now if you have done that, let's first talk about the tips for safari. So the first tip in Safari is to move back and move forward for a better navigation in between the pages. To do that, you can press and hold this back button to quickly jump onto the page and similarly, you can press and hold the forward button to move forward quickly. The second tip is to quickly copy the web address. Just tap and hold and it will appear a copy button. Tap on copy. Do you know you can close all the tabs in Safari by just pressing and holding this tab button and you can close all the tab at once. So this is a long press functionality and similarly this applies to a bookmark button as well. Tap and hold the bookmark button. You can add all the open tabs as your bookmarks. Another Safari tips that might be you guys already know but let me share you these things like right from your Safari app icon you can quickly access your reading list, bookmarks, or can open a private tab or a new tab quickly in Safari. Have you ever faced a problem to search for a particular tab or a website that you have opened in these multiple tabs? Don't worry, you can quickly search these tabs in Safari. Open all tabs, scroll all the way up, swipe a little bit down and you can search for the tab. Type a website name that you want to search and boom here is the result another way is by deleting your mobile and you can see a tabular view on safari now navigate through all the tabs and you can quickly access the tab that you want to find okay so next tip is for a uh, readers yes you can change the view like every website has their design and you can alter the design by using the reading mode of safari to use that, just tap on the double A icon from here, tap on show reader view and boom, reader view is activated. You can also customize this reader view by again tapping on double A. You can select the fonts like New York, Charter, Georgia, tap on back. You can change the font color. You can change the font background color and you can also increase the font size so this is really simple and now you have altered the website view to your favorite reading mode okay so next tip is all about viewing the internal links or a website link attached to a web page quickly on this article of iGeeks blog there is a link on a lidar let me tap and hold this and you can quickly view the web page without opening it in a new tab and right from here you can share the links share it via message or whatsapp you can copy a link share it via mail or any other way you prefer to share okay so just in the case if you want to open it in a new tab but you don't want to leave the current page then simply tap on the link with the two finger and that will open that link in a new tab without leaving your existing web page. Hey, do you know there are two different ways to find text on a web page? I know you probably know one by simply tapping on a sharing icon and look for, for the find on the page. But you can also find it by simply tapping on the address bar, type the text, scroll all the way down and tap on find text. And this will find the text on a web page okay so the last tip i want to share about the safari is to open recently closed tab just tap on tab icon press and hold the plus icon and this will show all the website you recently visited 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट टिप नंबर ट्वेल्व इज फॉर कैलकुलेटर ओपन द कैलकुलेटर ऐप एंड यू नो दैर इज अ नो बैक स्पेस और अ डिलीट बटन इन आई फोन्स कैलकुलेटर ऐप बट डोंट वरी यू कैन सिंपली डिलीट द लास्ट डिजिट जस्ट स्वाइप फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट टू डिलीट द डिजिट I know you know this hack probably but do you know you can copy the result like the final calculation of the equations from calculator app let me show you how so it is equal to 1 you can press and hold to copy or you can press and hold the calculator app icon to copy the last result we love to capture photos from our iphone but i would like to share a 3x that i like the most and that i am using the most with the photos app open photos and right from here tap on top of the screen to resend the very first photo i captured or you captured from your iphone or if you wish to go all the way down just tap on the album and you can access the recent photo you captured from your iphone this works in every album like my favorite tap on top again tap on down and another tip for the photos that i use frequently and that is to rotate the image temporarily to read the text or getting an idea of a different viewing angle just like this okay so i can get the idea i can view the different angle i can read the text and similarly you can do that too But do you know you can hide the hidden albums in Photos app? Yes, you can always hide the photos and that are stored in the hidden album. But again, you can hide this hidden album and you can hide all the photos that are stored in this folder. To do that, navigate to Settings, look for the Photos. Right from the here, toggle off the switch next to Hidden Album. Now. move back to photos and boom you can see hidden folder under utility is hide or you can say it's hidden <laughs> okay so next tip number 17 is for camera app do you know you can quickly shoot a video right from the photo section in camera app just tap and hold the shutter button and move from left to right to start a recording And do you know you can add background music while recording a video? Yes, I know. While we are playing a music on our iPhone and switch to camera and to video mode, it will stop playing music. But there is a hack to record a video while playing a music in a background on your iPhone. Let me show you how. Play any music. Now navigate to camera app and use the same hack that I have mentioned earlier to tap and hold the shutter button and swipe from left to right to record a video and this will record a video with a background music playing on your iPhone. So have you captured any ugly selfie just because it's mirrored? Don't worry, now there is a way to fix it. With iOS 14, Apple has added a feature to mirror a selfie. right from the camera app and you can toggle on or off switch next to mirror the front camera and after that you can capture a great selfie of yourself <laughs> so next tip is to increase the night shift capturing time from 3 to 5 second to up to 30 second yes you heard that right now we can set night shift mode capturing time up to 30 seconds let me show you how The next tip you probably know but let me share you you can quickly change the video quality from 4K to full HD and frame rate from 30 to 60 right from the camera app with iOS 14 Apple added this feature right into the camera app by simply tapping on 4K to HD and simply tapping on frame rate from 30 to 60 in your camera app So next tip is to compare this iPhone camera with Android. <laughs> Not really, but do you know you can scan the QR code right from your iPhone's camera app 
Android devices like many Android devices are lacking of this feature and they need an app to scan the QR code. But in iPhone, you can scan the QR code right from your camera app. Okay, so right now we are in the settings of the camera and right from here you can take a look, take a close look to a settings like use volume up button for a burst mode. So simply toggle this on and right from the camera app when you are in a photo and pressing a volume up button this will click our photos in a burst mode. Probably you have noticed if you don't then take a look. There is a yellow plus icon in my camera app and grids are active. This means my camera is on level. So probably we will require to level the iPhone to click the perfect picture. You can activate this too by simply navigate to settings and from the camera setting just toggle on switch next to grid this one and this grid and plus level icon will be activated on your iPhone too. So I have just explained that how you can take a quick videos right from the photos. But do you know you can also quickly take pictures while recording a video. See, I have just started a recording a video and you can see a shutter button next to the recording sign. Tap on that and this will click a picture while recording a video. Okay, so from this tip number 26, I would like to share a few tips for home screen. We are habitual to move icon by simply tapping and holding the home screen and grab the icon and moving it from one screen to another. But do you know, you can simply tap and move and hold this icon and with your another finger, you can switch between the screen. And in similar way, you can move more than one icon by simply tap and hold this icon, tap on the another icon that you would like to move to the another screen shift the home screen with your another finger and boom all the app icons that you have selected shifted to the another home screen hey i use my iphone very frequently and this is my daily driver and there are a lot of notifications that i received on multiple apps but take a look at this social media icon there are 10 notification i don't know in which app to quickly check the notification from the different app I just need to tap and hold the folder and this will pop up a app name with the notification badge. In this case, there are 10 notifications in Skype. The one hack I would like to share to hide apps quickly from your home screen. Okay, this is only possible in iOS 14 by simply tapping and holding on the app. Remove the app and select remove from home screen. Don't worry, you can quickly access this app right from the app library or you can quickly access this app right from the spotlight search of iPhone. But hey, do you know you can hide the entire home screen in iOS 14? Tap and hold to edit the home screen, tap on the dots right above the dock and here you can see I have a 7 different home screen. But while I was recording this video, I can only showcase the three screen just because I have selected those three. I can deselect them all, tap on done and now there is a one home screen or and I can select the multiple screen, tap on done and three screens. Boom. You can also hide the home screen on your iPhone in this same way. But make sure your iPhone is running I was 14. So all the 30 tips I have shared were excited and probably out of those 30 tips you might be know them all or maybe a few. But the next 5 settings I would like to share that I use most frequently on my iPhone and you can use it too. Navigate to settings, accessibility, touch, scroll all the way down and back tap. Yes, this feature is most popular these days on iPhone and Apple has introduced this feature with iOS 14. So I can select the action for a double tab and a triple tab on my iPhone from this multiple list. With iOS 14, Apple has offered us freedom. Like we can hide the home screen, we can hide the apps right from the home screen, moving it to uh, app library and okay, 
we can also change the default apps. Right now, we can change the web browser and email from Safari to our favorite Google Chrome or Mozilla or Mail app from uh, Gmail, or Spark, whatever. Let me show you how. In order to change the browser, search for the your favorite browser like Chrome and right from here, select the default browser app. And right from here, you can set the default browser to Chrome or Firefox. In the same way, you can also change the default mail app. Next tip is to change the view of color ID. Yes, you heard that right. With iOS 14, Apple has introduced to change the view of the color ID like from a full screen color ID to a call banner. To do that, navigate to settings and phone and right from here, select the incoming calls and you can select the color ID view. Let me set your banner. <laughs> I like it. This hack on iPhone I use frequently, like to change between the networks very quickly right from the control center. And in a similar way, I can also change between the Bluetooth device right from the control center. The last and the most interesting tip of the iPhone, you can spy with your iPhone. Let me show you how. Navigate to settings, control center, Add hearing option on control center. Now connect your airports with your iPhone. Now open a control center, tap on hearing icon and turn on live listen. So you knew them all, right? <laughs> Not really, a few I guess. So if you found this video interesting, then do share with your friends and family and do like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.